All right, this lesson is about applications of trigonometric ratios. So we're talking about tangent, sine, and cosine, and using them to solve some real-world problems. Um, please put your pencils down and just watch this video and learn how to do each problem. Um, if, if you have... Um, if there's any possibility that you can do the problem by yourself ahead of time, I encourage you to pause the video now and try to do the problem by yourself first. If you need the video, put your pencil down, watch the video, um, but then go back and do the problem by yourself a little while later. Um, don't just copy from the video because you won't really learn that way. Okay, so um, problem number one. A ramp to a building has a height of 4 feet and an angle of elevation of 33 degrees. How long is the ramp? So it's all about the picture. Okay, so here's a ramp. It's supposed to have a height of 4 feet. So that would be this over here. Um, and an angle of elevation of 33 degrees. Well, the angle of elevation is the angle to the ground. Um, so that means that this is 33 degrees. And um, see, how long is the ramp? Okay. Um, so the length of the ramp is the uh, hypotenuse here. Because this, this is the ramp, is really the hypotenuse. Okay, so how long is the ramp? So um, oh, well, let's just call that x. So the key to solving these uh, real world problems is to draw the picture correctly. Um, once you have that, then it's just a normal problem. So, um, you know, we decide which uh, trig function are we going to use. And uh, from the 33, the 4 is opposite, okay, because it's across from. And of course, this is the uh, hypotenuse. So, you know, we've got opposite and hypotenuse. So, um, which trig function is that? Well, that's the sine function. Is uh, the sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So that means that the sine of 33 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 4 over x. All right. Now, um, when the variable is in the denominator, it's uh, useful to do this shortcut because the denominator and the quantity by itself can be reversed. All right, it's just a little shortcut that uh, comes up often enough that it's worth just memorizing. Um, so that would make this x here, and the sine 33 would come here. Okay, and I would just put this into the calculator, and that's going to give you the length of the ramp. Uh, in your calculator, it would look like that. So we get 7.3, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see. Were we told to what, uh, how many decimal places? All right, it didn't say how many decimal places, so let's go ahead and do um, one decimal place. Okay, so let's call it 7.3. Uh, and we're talking about feet. I should have put that right there as well. 7.3 feet. Okay, and that is how long that ramp is. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Okay, if a kite is 40 feet off the ground and the string holding the kite is 42 feet long, what is the angle of elevation to the kite? All right, let's draw that picture. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, the kite is 40 feet off the ground, so that means uh, this height right here is uh, 40 feet. Okay, and the string holding the kite is 42 feet long. So the string here is 42 feet long. Okay, what is the angle of elevation to the kite? All right, so the angle of elevation is the angle to the ground. So this would be the angle of elevation. All right, how do we find angles, guys? Inverse trig functions. All right, so first you have to pick uh, which trig function you're actually going to use. And um, f 
from the uh, angle of elevation here, this is opposite, all right, because it's across from it. And of course, this is the hypotenuse, no matter what. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, that's the sine function. Okay, so let's definitely set up the sine function ready for action. So we will say the sine of theta, all right, always an angle goes here is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 40 over 42. Now if you want to find the angle, you have to use the inverse trig function. So we will say um, theta will equal the inverse sine of 40 over 42. And then we can just put this in our calculator to find out what the angle is. So inverse sine of 40 over 42 um, would look like this. Well, let's clear this out. So you have to hit second sign uh, 40 over 42. All right, and to one decimal place, that's 72.2 degrees. All right, this is an angle. All right, so 72.2 degrees. All right, so that will be the answer to number two. All right, number three. A 15-foot ladder is leaned against a house. If the base of the ladder is four feet from the house, what angle does the ladder make with the ground? Okay, so this is a ladder leaning against the side of this house. Um, it is a 15-foot ladder. Okay, so um, 15 feet will go right there leaning against the side of the house. The base of the ladder is four feet from the house. So that means this is four feet right, right here. And we want to know um, what angle does the ladder make with the ground, all right? And that's just like the angle of elevation, okay? Um, so again, if you want to find the angle, how do you find the angle? Um, you find angles using inverse trig functions, so that's what we're going to do. But first we need to decide which function we're going to use. Well, um, from the perspective of this angle, um, this four feet is adjacent, and of course the uh, latter here is the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, hmm, why that's the cosine function. So I will start off using the cosine function. So I will say the cosine of the angle is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is 4 over 15. But like I said, if you want the angle, you must use the inverse trig function. So that will be the inverse cosine of 4 over 15. And you can just put that in your calculator, and that will give you the actual angle inverse cosine 4 over 15. Whoops, I didn't need that. Okay, so second cosine does it, and 4 over 15. Okay, so that's 74.5 degrees. All right, this is an angle. So that is 7, whoops. 74.5 degrees. Okay, that would be uh, how big the angle is. All right, how about number four? A kite is flown with 240 yards of string. The angle of elevation of the string is 55 degrees. How high above the ground is the kite? Interesting. Um, I'm just going to cut and paste my kite picture from before. All right, so here's the situation. The ki kite is flown with 240 yards of string. Angle of elevation is 55 degrees. And we want to know how high off the ground is the kite. So that would be x right here. OK, well, from the perspective of this angle, um, our unknown over here is the, uh, this is opposite because it's across from the angle. Of course, the 240 is the hypotenuse, no matter what. 
So which trig function involves opposite and hypotenuse? By the way, you should have this memorized by now. Um, that is the sine function, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, yeah, if you haven't memorized these yet, stop and memorize them right now. You know what I mean? Like, study this chart, and then look away and go try to write these down on another piece of paper. And then look back and see if you were right. And do that over and over again until you can get it every single time. All right? It's called studying, and that's what that sounds like. Um, I'm sorry, that was a little sarcastic. Um, so the sine function is what we're going to do. So the sine of 55 degrees is uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So that'll be x over 240. OK, this dot is bothering my OCD. Um, so uh, to solve this, do I need to do the swap thing? Uh, no, that only helps me when the variable is in the denominator. Instead, um, I should multiply both sides by 240. All right, that way these will cancel out. Okay, so that's going to just leave me with, um, you know, 240 sine 55 is equal to x. And you can just put this in your calculator. 240 sine 55. Okay, 240 sine 55. All right, so that is 196.6, got to round up, 196.6. Okay, so that's 196.6 yards. All right, when you're doing a word problem, a real world problem, uh, the units are very important, so do not leave off your units. Okay, but that would be the answer to Number four. All right. In a large theater, the stairs have an angle of elevation of um, 100. Uh, I'm sorry. Angle of elevation of 27 degrees. If the theater is 50 feet long, how tall is the highest seat? Okay. Well, I don't have any clever way of drawing stairs. Um, so I'm just going to draw a triangle. All right, to represent my stairs in this theater. Okay, but just understand, all right, in this picture, the stairs are like here. <laughs> all right, okay, I'm messing that up, but whatever, you get the idea. All right, they say the angle of elevation is 27 degrees. All right, so that's the uh, angle with the ground, is 27 degrees. All right, the theater is, um, 40 feet long, okay? So uh, I interpret that to be this, okay? The theater is 40 feet long, okay? Um, no, 50 feet long. The theater is 50 feet long. I'm a little blind right now, sorry. The theater is 50 feet long. How high is the, um, how tall is the highest seat? So the highest seat is going to be up here, so we're being asked for the height right here, okay? So which trig function are we dealing with? From the perspective of the 27 degrees, this height is opposite, it's the opposite leg, and uh, this length of the theater is the adjacent leg. Hmm, opposite adjacent. Which function is that? Well, cosine is, wait, no. <laughs> Strike that. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So the tangent function. Okay, um, so we will be using the tangent function. So we will say the tangent of 27 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, so x over 50. Okay, so to solve this, we will simply multiply both sides by 50. 
and that way these 50s will cancel out. All right, so, so um, x is just 50 tangent 27. So that is 25.5 degrees, got to round up. Not degrees. All right, I'm messing up. Okay, not, not degrees. Um, feet. Feet, all right? 25.5 feet. It's not the angle. All right, and that would be the answer to problem number five. All right, last but not least, a right triangle has one leg that measures eight feet and another that measures 15 feet. What are the measures of the acute angles? Well, this is not really a real world problem, is it? This feels like a bit of a cheat in terms of um, real world problems, just putting feet onto a right triangle, but whatever, whatever. Um, okay, so one leg is eight and another is 15. Okay, so this will be my eight foot leg. Okay, and this one is 15 feet. And we're supposed to find the measures of the acute angles of this triangle. So how do we find angles? Uh, we use inverse trig functions, of course. So um, just pick an angle, it doesn't matter. So um, say if I pick this angle right here Okay, I'll just call that theta for right now. Um, then the tangent, this is opposite and this is adjacent. Okay, so that is the tangent function. The tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent. So that would mean that the tangent of theta is going to equal 8 over 15. Okay. And to find the angle, we use the inverse trig function. So that would be inverse tangent of 8 over 15. All right, so that tells me that theta will equal, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So the inverse tangent, so I will do second tangent of 8 over 15. Okay, is that right? Yeah. Um, so that's going to be 28.1, got to round up, degrees, 28.1 degrees. Okay, so that's one angle, all right? Um, to find the other angle, we will do uh, 90 minus 28.1, okay? Um, so 90 minus... 28.1 degrees. Um, let's see, 90 minus 28.1 is 61.9. Okay, so that's 61.9 degrees. Okay, so that means the two angles. Um, if you put those uh, together, for the answer, it's 28.1 degrees and 61.9 degrees. I'll just put it over here. Okay, so 28.1 degrees and 61.9 degrees. All right, and that is the end of this lesson. I hope it was helpful. Um, please make sure you can do each of these problems by yourself without just copying off the video. I'll see you on the next video.